Today, we will talk about interesting features from the releases of Fast Report VCL that happened in recent years. You will learn about the new features of our report designer and preview, which will allow you to create reports even faster. There's a new dynamic table component and features for fast creation of reports from code. You'll see how to include ready-made documents into a report using the new HTML view and PDF view objects, how to use hyperlinks for uploading data to a report and connecting it to cloud services, what are the new interactive objects, a list and drop-down list on the report page 4. You'll hear about new features of the report engine and much more. Fast Report VCL is a set of VCL components for generating reports and documents. It provides a visual template designer, ability to use the most popular data sources, a reporting engine, preview, export filters to more than 30 formats, and deployment to cloud services, web, email, and print. Let's begin with a look of the recent designer improvements. We've added filtration to the data tree tabs, variables, and functions. So, so you can find all the necessary data fields and expressions with ease. It's now possible to hide all panels in data tree. Also, it's possible to use filters in the report tree, which contains report objects, which results in an improved searching experience. We've also added an advanced search system for the designer itself. With the new enhancements of the report designer, the speed and convenience of report template development goes to the next level. The improved search and replace function in the report designer allows to affect text in string properties, object names, object's content, and in the script code. Your search results will be displayed as a tree which is quite easy to navigate. The text replacement system in the designer has been improved. So, as you can see, the replacement by searched elements is simple and clear. In this demonstration, we are finding all occurrences of award sales and bulk replacing them with new sales, which gets us 16 results. Editing of dialog pages in the reports becomes easier with the addition of guideline support. In this demonstration, you can see the vertical guidelines being used in a dialog form. Support for automatic guides has been added. You can click on the button in the upper left corner of the sheet to display all auto guides, only horizontal or only vertical ones. This allows you to align objects faster and more efficiently. We have expanded the possibilities of editing reports and searching for errors in them. The new Object Intersection Highlight mode allows you to localize problematic errors in your report template and prepare the report for correct outputs in exports with tabular representation, RTF, XLS, and others. Just enable the new mode to see all the intersecting objects. In a case, when a property's value differs from its default value, the object inspector will display it in a highlighted manner. This allows for a better control of changes in the report. Potentially very important properties that were edited become easy to spot. There's a new tab in the object inspector favorites, in which you can add the most used properties for a quicker access. You can quickly add and remove comments using the hotkeys control and forward slash. Now you can quickly add variables to the watch list through context menu and hotkeys. There are new pop-up tips 
and step-by-step -step debugging modes, step over and run until return. A dynamic table is a set of objects that is filled in during the formation process based on the received data and then divided into pages in the report. Here you can see the dynamic table builder for the table object. It allows building table reports from code or from the report script. It automatically slices and paginates the table based on how much it grows down and to the right. Building dynamic reports with a variable amount of rows and columns is now simpler than before. Multiple build modes are supported for dynamic pages. For example, across and down works this way, as the demonstration shows. And with the down and across mode, uh, the table will look like that. The table builder supports fixed rows and columns, which get printed with every new part of the table. So here's the piece of the code that uh, fixes the header. And here's an example of a table with fixed headers, which we will of course reprint on break. We've added a new report object called HTML view. Here you can see it in action. It's already added in the report and basically behaves like a regular uh, set of text objects. You can see all the HTML markup. And uh, this is how you include the fields from a data source into a HTML view component. There's a preview of it. And here's how a table built exclusively with this component works and looks. And it can be exported into all the regular formats that FastReport VCL supports. Next, let's look at the dynamic height support in HTML view. HTML view supports dynamic height with the can grow property and splitting of its content, moving parts of the content to new pages. For example, let's uh, take an HTML we already have. Here is all of its markup. Here is how it looks. Next, we open the object inspector, change all the properties that allow this object to grow and split properly. and then preview the report. It looks like this. So one object was uh, displayed this way on multiple pages. And of, course this and of course this report can also be exported. And all text is exported as actual text. So you can uh, copy it in the resulting PDF, for example. 
the object for displaying HTML in the report, TFRX HTML view, has the ability to cache and save images obtained from external links, file or web protocol. They will be sent directly to the constructed report via the embedded objects property. This increases the independence and speeds up the loading speed of such reports. We've also added a new report object called PDF view. Here's a visual instruction for its usage. Select PDF view in the toolbar, add the object to the template sheet, select the PDF document you want to be displayed, stretch it to the height of the sheet, select the stretching mode, and build the report. So, here we will center the object and stretch it to the entirety of the page. This requires changing several parameters of the object itself and also the band it's placed on. Let's choose the actual height stretching mode for the object. And also stretch to and allow split modes for the band. Detail stretch mode should also be set as well. And here's how the preview looks. It consists of 45 pages. So basically the whole PDF document has been converted into a part of our report. A new data uploading mechanism has been added. Now you can load data into report objects by hyperlink for map, text, PDF and picture objects. Here you can see the hyperlinks and the data link property of several objects. In this report, basically all the elements were loaded directly from the Internet. It is also possible to use links to the OpenStreetMap API. Use hyperlinks to access the OpenStreetMap API and load data into report objects. So the content of this map was taken directly from the OpenStreetMap. And more than just hyperlinks. You can add your own protocols and transports. Next feature. You can load data into report objects by hyperlink. Next feature. You can load data into report objects from cloud services using hyperlinks. Configure Box, Google Drive, Dropbox and OneDrive transports for private access to the cloud storage by hyperlinks. And after that, you can load data into report objects from those services. So, we've configured a Dropbox transport. We called it dbbox. And then we can use it as a protocol. Set our authorization data. After that, uh, let's open the designer, add a picture object, and in it we can use this protocol. So type dbox, column, slash, slash, and then after that a path to some file that you want to use. This particular file was loaded from a private Dropbox storage. There is a new authorization system for Box, Google Drive, Dropbox and OneDrive transports. Now through the default browser. There are new transports for accessing MS Outlook and Gmail mailboxes via the Webmail API. Transports can send and receive reports, as well as receive the result in the form of an exported document. 
So now you can use MS Outlook and Gmail with Fast Report VCL. The authorization dialog for transport was improved. You can save your authorization data in an encrypted form, show or hide authorization fields, and now you have quick access to the configuration page of cloud storage. Here's a list of transports that we support at this moment. There are improvements in the way the images are being cached now. We've added an option to check for duplicate images in export filters. The new cache reduces the number of duplicate images and the resulting export size. You can enable this feature using the calculate picture hash property of the export filter. There are two new objects that can be interactive in the preview window, combo box and list box. You can also see on the GIF that everything that happens to these objects can be processed in the report script. There's a new optimizational tool. The new clear empty lines property allows to remove empty instances of text objects. Combined with the can shrink and shift always properties, this makes it possible to collapse objects with empty values. In this case, the entire tree of objects at the bottom will move up. There's a new stretch mode for the text object. It's called SM part max height. Breaking objects in this mode uses the height of each part after breaking with correction applied. This is unlike the SM max height mode, which uses the bench height before the breaking occurs. The digital signature support has been expanded. We've added support for digital multi signature for documents in PDF format. An exported PDF file can be signed with more than one digital certificate. One document, several signatures. Feel free to open as many tabs as you want, because now you can export them all. You can now include all the open preview tabs into one single report. The resulting file will have all the pages from every open tab in order, and the hyperlinks between these pages will be preserved. So as you can see in the demonstration, we are opening a few tabs and uh, in the exported file, only the hyperlinks that basically led to pages that we've opened are clickable. In this case, by the way, I would advise you to make them permanently uh, highlighted. So there's a clear visual indication which hyperlinks are clickable. And now to finish the presentation, here's the full list of exports that are currently available in FastReport VCL. There are formats like PDF, Excel and Word documents, an HTML export, several picture exports, TXT export and an export for dot matrix printers, PowerPoint, DBF, ZBL for Zebra printers and a few more. Thank you for your attention. Feel free to ask any questions. Okay, so Dennis is on to answer questions. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the question panel uh, and we'll do our best to get them answered. Um, actually, here's one that's not related to this session is the Delphi and a session, AI session gonna be rescheduled. Hopefully, at this point, I'm trying to find out if Olaf's been replaced by an AI or what's going on. Uh, I will hopefully get that rescheduled. There is an AI session tomorrow though. Tune in for that one in the meantime, but I will hopefully get that one rescheduled. Dennis, I don't know if you are, if you have video, you're welcome to turn it on and join us. If not, we can just have you as the disembodied voice. I'm looking, most of the questions are, oh, wait, here's a question. Can fast report save reports in PowerPoint or Excel format? From Sandro. Dennis, are you there? Let me just skim the rest of the questions here while I'm waiting for Dennis to come back. Um, Fast report is, a, I will say, it's one of those great reporting tools. If you're generating reports, uh, definitely take a look at it. <laughs> There's another question. Let's see if Dennis comes back here in a second. 
Uh oh. All right. Well, Dennis, if you can um, hear me and see the the text, if you could just type an answer in the chat box, I will read it off for everybody. And it's not ideal, but at least you'll give us a chance to offer answer questions. So, do, can you save to PowerPoint or Excel from Fast Reports? Uh, he says yes. You can export to PPTX and Excel's and XLS and old XLS format as well. So there are uh, options there for exporting to to those formats too. Uh, here's a question from Lars: Is Fast Report fully thread safe now, or what do people need to know about thread safety when working with Fast Reports? Let's see. Uh, yes, it's fully thread safe except dialog forms because we are using adapters to standard VCL forms. Okay, so it is fully thread safe. Can you create multiple reports at the same time in multiple threads to elaborate on that? And someone asked Lars why you'd want to do that. <laughs> what about imports from Crystal Reports to Fast Reports? And actually, I saw another question about importing from Nirvana's and Rave Reports to Fast Reports. I believe you have some imports, but I can't remember exactly what imports you do have or don't have. So what kind of import options do you have available? Jim said that he believes it can import from Report Builder. Verify that. It says we have reports from Rave, Report Builder, and Quick Report. Okay, great. All those report formats. I was pretty sure that it was. So, oh, they don't have a converter from Crystal Reports. Okay. So everything but Crystal Reports, it looks like. See here the comment from Francis. I used Fast Report from early 2000s until 2016. Multi page financial reporting with bespoke code for balances and bank investment accounts, PDS2. That's great. Are there any report types that Fast Reports cannot do? <laughs> In theory, I suppose. I don't know if, if, Dennis, if there's a specific report type that you are aware of that it can't do. I mean, any report types is infinite. <laughs> um, so there could be a new report type that someone just created just now that fast reports can't do yet, but hard to say for sure. And here's another question. If you have a city billing where there are thousands of clients each having their own bill, can fast reports create individual P-test PDS for all of them? I believe so. I believe that's what someone else had just said. You should be able to do that where you would just, each one would be, it's, you'd have the same, you'd have the report and then you just run it for each client. Oh, and Lars clarified that the reason he wanted to have multi-threading was that he had printing reports on a server, multiple clients requesting prints at the same time. So Dennis says that you can uh, connect report to your data and click it with the report template. Yeah, so you'd have a report template that would run for multiple rows. Does Fast Reports have a FMX version creating a report for Mac OS? So if you want to have Fast Reports on Mac OS, is there FireMonkey support and Mac OS support? So I went to the Fast Report website and there is a Fast Report FMX. So it would look like probably if you go to, I'll put that up on the screen, Fast Report, fast-report.com. Says yes, we have FireMonkey version. Currently, only supports Windows OS 10 Linux via FMX Linux. Yeah, so it doesn't doesn't work on mobile devices, but it works on all your desktop platforms. I think that's it. So, oops, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Uh, Francis said um, PDF production was a godsend for mailing clients, secure email, awesome reporting software, TMS for more complex dashboards. I think that's it for the questions here. Unless I missed something, let me just skim here again. Looks like, hopefully I got through all the questions. There's a question here. Are there any limitations to add some powered by Delphi by Embarcadero text on our presentation forms? I mean, the form which is shown while the application is loading. There's not a requirement to do that. It's awesome if you do, we appreciate it, but we don't require that you do that. Does what about as far as working with HTML5 code? Can fast reports include HTML code and view HTML code in the application or in the reports? So, if maybe if you have HTML in the database, something like that, that you're pulling out when you're rendering your reports, is that an option? Go out here to the fast reports website and see if I see it. Looks like there are is support for HTML in fast reports. Uh, oh, wait. 
Oh, only support HTML4 with CSS. Also, you can use HTTP and HTTPS links. Moreover, you can use uh, transports to cloud stores and use links to data on your cloud servers. Okay, so not HTML5, but there is support for HTML4. Okay, uh, Alan says, thank you, Fast Reports is a great product. Yep, it's a fantastic tool. Thank you, Dennis, sorry for the audio problems. I'm not sure what happened. Um, so it's like every year there's always one person that has audio trouble, it seems like. But uh, sorry that it was you this time and uh, appreciate the, your, uh, all you do in fast, for Fast Reports and putting a session together with the updates and more, all the great stuff going on, the new things with Fast Reports.